Geeky Panda here on the Geeky Panda blog, joined by Time Enforcer News from She's Lost Control.net. So, and here on Panda Recommends, we're recommending you our next anime series, because this is actually do here, that we recommend to you newbies out there who are just getting into the anime, um, the anime community, or just getting into anime in general. This is another older anime, not as old as some of you might think, but still good on top. Fully, coolly, and yes, these were the originally released DVDs that came out, and I know I'm missing one of them. <laughs> so, Fully Cooly is about a kid, Naoto, he's living his ordinary life until, you know, he gets hit by a crazy woman with a Vespa. And, sh and it all goes crazy from there. Like, this, technically this is an OVA, right? Yes, it's a six episode OVA uh, produced by Gainax. Same people who did Evangelion, same people who would later do Gurren Lagann, and same people who did Pain and Stalking. So if you recognize any of those series, it's the same people who did those. Yep. And you also gotta remember, you know, when we say the story just goes crazy, it does. The, you find out that the that the woman in the Vespa, you know, she's an alien. You've, you've, there's a robot living with a kid. There's a high, there's a girl that's older than him that has a thing for him, but he clearly doesn't know. It's just, it's all crazy, and there's actually a lot of pop culture references in there. A whole lot of pop culture references. There's also a lot of, it's the the story is actually really coherent if you pay attention. Mm -hmm. It's buried, it's buried in symbolism though, and that's one of the great things about Bullet Cool is that it's you watch it multiple times and you get something every single time. Yeah, it's just, it's a, it was originally, you know, it came to America because of Adult Swim. They were the ones who showed it, and since it was being six episodes, you know, and they always showed it, like, you could, you can, like, literally watch the whole thing in a span of six weeks if yep. you're on top of it, you know, or a whole year if you, you know, if you're viewing it, but this is a, this is a comedy series but it does have elements of some romance, some drama. Sci-fi should definitely be rolled right in there. Action as well. Action as well, yep. So this is a comedy action series with some other elements included. Now do note, it is a six episode series. I got the original uh, two of the three DVDs that came out originally, but they did release a box set, I believe going for 30 bucks for Blu-ray and cheaper on the DVD. So this is... Like, if, if you talk to anyone who's watched Adult Swim, that was my phone, uh, if you say Fully Cooly or FLCL or Furry Curry, because there's like so yeah. many different ways how they say it in the series, and it's like, <laughs> they never really explain what, what Fully Cooly is supposed to be. But they, there are theories and, and like speculation, but they never really explain it in the show. Yeah, there are, yeah, it, there are things that it could be this, but. You know, and again, like, like I never said, they never really explain it fully. Like, this is a roller coaster ride through and through. It is our classic thing of short and sweet. This is a, a short and sweet thing, and one of the things that this anime series is known for is having a great soundtrack. The oh, Pillows yes. did the, you know, did the soundtrack to the anime series, and they did great justice Fantastic. to this. But like, er, er, people wanted to buy their CDs. You know, people were trying to import the CDs. So they can li keep on listening to it back in the day. Like, this was definitely very popular. I believe that there was a uh, manga. There was a manga. I think two manga? volumes. Two volumes. I uh, the first volume somewhere. Yep. And again, highly recommended. The voice acting was pretty decent as well. For yeah, for both the Japanese and the dub, the voice acting was actually really nice. They did a great job on the dub for this one. Yeah, and like you know, from the start of it to the end of it, especially the last episode, it's just. It's just like that, you know, like, it all came down to this. Yeah. So, again, this is a great series to watch. Would highly recommend owning this. This is something for the history books. Even though it was an OVA series, and OVAs generally don't get recognized that well, because I think in Japan it didn't get recognized that well because it was an I OVA. I don't think it got very recognized very well. It came far long after the, the real boom of OVAs in the 80s. Yeah. There aren't too many OVAs that pass that that get that much recognition. That aren't attached. That aren't already attached to, to uh, yep. established franchises. Yep, and 
you know, and then, you know, because of Adult Swim, it became so popular here, and uh, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the new anime fans out there, you might not even have heard of it because is it even on Adult Swim anymore? I, mean, I don't think they're showing it on the new Toonami, at least not now. Yeah, well, I don't even, I don't know if they still have the license to it. No, Funimation has a license. Funimation has a license now, but yeah. I don't know if I think they Funimation. have the syndication rights. To yeah. It. So overall, again, this is something that should not be missed at all. So please go watch it, go enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is not like one of those animes that's hit or miss. This is a very enjoyable anime from start they, to finish. They really, they really hit gold with this one. Yeah. Short, sweet, has a great story, has a great message, and really, they really got, they really got something here. Yeah. So again, this is this is a. This is a one of the very few great gems you can find. Yeah. People talk about how great Guy Nax is, and this is one of the reasons why. Yeah. So again, you know, I, you know, this week's Panda recommends myself and Time Force Anubis recommends Fully Cooly or FLCL or Furry Curry, whatever you want, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it, it's still the same thing. So I hope you guys like my recommendation, and if you'd like it a lot, please go out and buy it to support your anime industry out there. And remember to also like, comment, and subscribe to my video content. Check out Anubis's She's Lost Control.net in the description box where it talks about anime, video games, and everything else in between on his blog. So watch out for that. So again, guys, thank you for coming, thank you for watching my video. So this is the Geeky Panda. And Time Before Sinubus here on the Geeky Panda Blog, signing out. So remember, stay geeky, my friends.